Good morning, namaste everyone. Um, and welcome to this Aku Yin Yoga class. Um, this um, type of yoga is based or rooted in Chinese medicine. And we assume here that, or we don't assume, but we know that um, the body is um, it's a net of energy lines is running through our bodies that are called meridians. And today we want to focus on our lung and our large intestine meridian that are um, highly connected to um, boosting our immune system, um, um, reducing heat and dryness in our lungs and also yeah, support us, especially in this very interesting times around a flu that um, likes to uh, find its home in our lungs. So um, there's definitely nothing bad around it. Um, and um, as another beneficial part of it is, we're also opening with nice yin long breath and stretches our upper body. Um, so um, we will, just so that you know a little bit what, <laughs> what's coming, so we will, um, first, use our an acupressure point. So I will guide you through. I will explain you where to press a point for about a minute, and then we will go into a pose that is running along that meridian that we have just activated with that acupressure point, so that you sort of give your own an acupressure therapy at home um, in, with combinate and uh, with this combination of acupressure point and yin pose. Um, I will guide you a little bit through, I will tell you a little bit about the, where the meridians run, etc. whilst we're in the practice. And really important here is, um, yin practice means to properly let go. It's water, it's the female part, it's the, it's the accepting part. So we use a lot of, of yang in our practice, lots of changing, lots of muscles, lots of feet. And here now you are allowed to completely let go. I want to ask you to not engage your muscles that you are stressing. So we call that stress. So if you feel a stretch, that's a positive stress that you want to um, achieve. But that means that you want to let go completely of any muscle contraction around these areas so that you can dive through those muscles into our connective tissues, into our fascia and towards our ligaments so that we can find there a nice opening sensation here. So the muscles sort of, if you contract them, that will hold you back from actually getting the healing effect of the practice. So try to really find a pose that will also hopefully give you enough options to um, to find the pose that is the right one for you. So you want to feel comfortable there. You should feel a sensation, you should feel a stress, but you don't want to <laughs> test your face. You want to be relaxed, you want to feel comfortable. So that's really, really important. And um, yeah, I mean, you can always come back to that practice and also practicing to let go because that's something that is not necessarily the easiest for you, for us, <laughs> I'm the same. So um, let's come to the mat. Um, if you want to stop that um, video quickly just to get uh, your props ready. So because you want to make yourself comfortable, you maybe want yoga blocks if you have some, or maybe books or something that just can elevate you a little bit here and there. And what I always like to have is a shawl, just in case, because we will hold some poses for about two minutes. So if you, you know, if you lie sometimes on, on your chest or on a certain bone, it's just nice to have a, have a blanket underneath just to cushion yourself. And maybe just a pillow. Um, you might need it, you might not. Um, it's good to have them handy. Okay. So first of all, I would like to start with yeah, going straight away into our acupressure point here for the lungs. So the lung meridian, it runs sort of from just underneath your clavicula. You can just imagine, you can even close your eyes. Along your clavicula and the inside, so along your shoulder joint here, over the inside of your arm, all the way down into your thumb. Maybe 
close your eyes once again. So just imagine. So that's it's a big bigger even, but that's for us the necessary uh, running line of that meridian. So just maybe go with one hand, go with your left hand, we started with the right hand, just trust that one. So with your left hand, just find your clavicula, just go maybe two fingers below. And then just run your fingers all the way below your clavicula towards your shoulder joint. And then in the inside of your shoulder, all the way down along the inside of your arm, towards the inside of your elbow, the inside of your forearm. And from there into the tip of your big, of your thumb. Good. And then from here, come up again. Trace that part again. So here, about two fingers below your clavicula, and then just run your fingers here to that point where the chest, the clavicula, is joining your shoulder joint, and there's such a little depression there. Just maybe find the point. So I have here one. If I press it, I straight away feel how some energy is running down into my thumb. I don't get that straight away always. But there around, just find a point where you would like to just massage a little bit. And then you're more than welcome to close your eyes again. So that's a practice that will also cultivate a little bit of patience. So it's very slowly, very gentle. So we will kind of massage that point now or just press that point for one minute. Just close your eyes and start to press that point for yourself on that area where your clavicula, just underneath where your clavicula is joining your shoulder. And maybe you feel some energy running into your arm and into your thumb. Maybe you don't. But know that no matter what you feel, you're definitely activating here an energy line that will support you in releasing tension. It will support you to boost your immune system and to make you ready for whatever is out that there, outside there. Just hold that point. Okay. Two more breaths. that will enhance the effect of the activation of that meridian. So we come into, it's called so-called open wing posture. So please come to lying on your belly. And we use the right arm first, so <laughs> turning towards you so that you know what we're doing. So the right arm that we have just activated, stretch it out to the side. And then from here, there are options, so you can just you turn towards that right arm, relax that arm completely. And maybe that's exactly where you want to be, with your knees just stacked above each other. Maybe you don't feel any sensation there, then just push yourself a little bit further and maybe stack the left leg, the left foot into the floor. Or maybe that's also still not enough for you then you're more than welcome to take your left arm and try to reach with your left arm towards your right. I can't do that. That is too much for me. So for me, the perfect pose is just leaning here towards the right as much as possible to feel that sensation here in my lung meridian running through the inside of my arm into my thumb, supporting me with my left foot behind. Maybe you want to back up for a little bit and just stack your legs above each other and stay here. Find a position that is the right one for you. Come into your open wing pose here. And we stay here.
for two minutes. Close your eyes. And breathe deeply. That's also a great chance for you just to, yeah, just to really make your breath a little bit more expensive, to work with your breath and to properly sink into your body with your awareness. Hold that pulse, breathe into that pulse, and also allow yourself maybe to trace with your inner eye again that line, that meridian that is running, coming here from your lungs all the way up towards your clavicula, just underneath it's running through your shoulder all the way down along the inside of your fore, of your upper arm into the inside of your elbow along the inner side of your forearm along the outside of your wrist all the way up into your thumb Feel maybe also the silence around you and allow that silence and that, that peace to wrap around you like a blanket. Hold that stretch. But also try to really relax your shoulders. So the moment that you have to engage and cringe your face and you feel like tensing in your whole body, you went too far. So this here is also a very powerful practice to look after yourself. And this is not an easy task to do. Sometimes we are so busy with looking after everyone else that we forget how it actually feels to look after ourselves. So why not practicing this here, this very gentle, very powerful practice here on the mat. Okay, good. We have two more breaths to go deep in. And exhale out. Inhale deeply. And exhale out. Okay, slowly, slowly roll yourself on your belly again. Release that right arm next to you. Maybe turn your head to the other side and just feel the sensation in your right arm for a little rebound. So that gives us now, gives your body now the chance to digest and to also to spread the energy that has just run through your right arm through your whole body. So imagine the meridians out of it. It's like an autobahn or like a highway. So the moment that the, the meridian is blocked, nothing can go, nothing can flow, and a traffic jam happens, so we get sick. The moment that we try to, that we, that we manage to free the meridian, energy can flow, and we become healthy. So by enhancing the energy flow, we support ourselves, we support our immune system, and maybe that resonates with you, or maybe not. Just take in whatever feels right for you right now, what I'm saying. And if it's only in goosebumps, the physical sensation that you feel that might feel positive and, and beneficial for you, then this is exactly what you need today. Good. And then slowly, slowly from here, open your eyes. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and just Gently press yourself up again into a sitting position. You want to go straight away with the right arm into the into the part of meridian, which is the large intestine. You have a pressure point here. We take the right hand, right arm again. Is if you just bring your thumb and your index finger together, and there's a little bulky, little fleshy part here between your thumb and your index finger. This is where your point is. So take your thumb, your big thumb, your left thumb in there and just find that little, I find for me there's a little bit of tension here where you can just massage that point. If you're pregnant, don't use this point. 
but one here there with your index finger up along the out and outside of your forearm and just bend your arm and there where the where the um, crease of your of your uh, skin is meeting your elbow joint there is another point that is beneficial so just choose whatever is right for you and find again here maybe a little bit of a tender spot close your eyes and you hold that point here once again for one minute hold that point here for one minute close your eyes and just find that point where you might feel a little bit of tension so these upper pressure points are supposed to reduce fever and help also to release a little bit of heat they prevent flu and yeah they're supposed to yeah you can actually use them anytime that you feel you have to steam a little bit heat off your body keep on holding that point and imagine that this meridian is originating here in your index finger runs all the way over the outside of your forearm in through that point between your thumb and your index finger along the outside of your forearm into that point on your elbow that I have just explained and from there all the way over the other outside of your um, upper arm over your shoulder into your shoulder plate from your shoulder plate it runs up along your shoulder into your neck over your cheeks to the opposite uh, nose nostril And then here slowly release that point and we come into this again again with your right arm into the opposite into broken knee pose I again show that from the front so you have different options you can come onto your knees right arm runs underneath so that you feel if you imagine it runs from your index finger all the way along here into your shoulder plate from there into the front over your neck into your nose so bring, find a sensation where you can almost run with your inner eye along that meridian let your head rests and your left arm just supports you in front of you. That's option number one. Or maybe you want to come to a line on your belly and run that right arm through and find your whole body weight like resting on that right arm. Or maybe if that's not enough, you can also bring your left arm on top of it and just bring your whole body weight on that arm. If your head feels very heavy and far away from the earth, take your block or your book or your, um, or your pillow and just rest your forearm, uh, your forehead on that block. I give you one more moment just to find the right position for you and again think about or have in mind that you don't want to find a stress where you feel uncomfortable you should feel a sensation where you feel the benefit of it but where you don't have to tense anything in your body in order to stay there so your right arm runs underneath choose your option feel the sensation running along the other side of your arm I choose the option where my left arm is also stretched out to the opposite my forehead rests on that block and I close my eyes and I stay here I stay here for two minutes and whilst you're holding here breathe deeply into your back And trace with your inner eye again your meridian starting from your index fingertip running that index finger down into that passage where your thumb and your index bone are meeting running from the outer edge of your wrist all the way up into your elbow crease where the joint is meeting the little fold of your skin runs all the way along the upper arm 
over your shoulder into your shoulder blade. You might feel now also that sensation in your shoulder blade. You might feel that point. From there, it runs all the way back up along towards your shoulder bridge to your neck. And from here, over your cheek to the opposite nose, opposite nostril. Breathe deeply here. And breathe out. Close your eyes. And also use the breath here to guide you deeper into that practice and guide you deeper towards yourself. Whatever is there to observe, whatever is there to feel. And just allow yourself to believe for a moment that this practice is exactly doing this what you need right now. Boosting your immune system, opening your lungs, and also releasing any grief, any sadness, any heaviness that is related to those meridians as well. So we feel a certain emotion that is connected to an imbalance in these meridians and one is grief. So you might have felt that in the last days, you might have not. But if you have so, then just allow this massage of your meridians, of your acupressure points and of your muscles here to release that out of your system. Good. Do more breath here. Deep in. And exhale. slowly slowly open your eyes and make your way out of whatever posture you have chosen release any blocks underneath you and find again your rebound your quick shavasana here in between where you can just allow the energy here to run through your body maybe you feel a little bit less vibration along your arm, your inner and outer arm, your shoulder blade, your lungs, maybe even all the way up into your nostril. slowly and gentle movements come up into a very comfortable sitting position just so that you can find again the same sensation on the other arm so we find we do the same now on the left arm so again maybe this time the right hand is just running along your clavicula into that depression here where the clavicula and the chest is meeting the shoulder joint. Oh, I heard it. <laughs> there might be a tender point, there might not be a tender point. Just find a point that is the right one for you. For me, it's now about two fingers, two fingers below my clavicula, in that depression towards my shoulder joint. When I massage it here, I can feel it running from my lungs all the way into my shoulder, through the inner side of my arm, over the inner side of my elbow, the inner side of my forearm running into pressure point that is supposed to help us or help us to heal from a cup, releasing asthma and also releases tension in our chest. Stay here for
exhale, three more breaths. Deep in and exhale out. Relax your face. Deep in and exhale out. One more breath. Deep in and exhale. And slowly plant your eyes open again and you go straight away again into our open bean pose this time on the left arm so come to lie on your, on your belly stretch your left arm up and then just find your pose so maybe so you're leaning now towards the left and maybe you just want to stack your legs above each other and bend this enough or you want to roll towards your back so that your right foot is supporting you behind you and maybe that's enough or maybe you want to lean even more for to towards your back and reach with your right arm towards your left so that your arms are almost touching or maybe even joining behind your back Whatever pose you choose, resist the urge to go too deep. Resist the urge to find your limit. But try to challenge yourself and ask yourself the question, where do I feel comfortable? Where do I find that space where I can grow? I have a sensation where I feel I'm opening my wing and allowing that blurry in here to run all the way from my chest, from my lung over my chest into my shoulder and the inside of my arm into my thumb where I can enhance that vibration but without pushing myself into a space where I can't relax, where I feel too much challenge. One and a half minutes more to go here. Close your eyes and breathe. Cultivate patience here in that practice. And also give yourself the permission that you're allowed to stay here for a moment to, from the outside maybe, don't change anything fine but you will feel that lots will change within yourself so you are working hard <laughs> just in a different way allow your breath to become very nice long and expensive And also guide your breath towards the sensations in your body. So the moment that you feel tension somewhere, also tensing in yourself, tensing in your breath or your mind mostly, maybe your breath can help you to release that tension. Take this practice here as a moment that you maybe if you're new to it as a great exploration of yourself from the inside and maybe you are not new to it and you are an old buddy as you say in German in that practice then just dive into it and take the most out of it with all your trust and all your knowledge of the benefits of that practice good and then slowly slowly roll yourself out of that stretch and come to lie on your belly or on your back, whatever feels right for you, for your personal rebound pose. But we stay for another minute. Feel the sensation of the vibration in your left arm, in the inside of your arm, in your chest, and maybe just for a quick exploration and breathe deeply into your chest just to see if something maybe has changed. If you could maybe release already a little bit of tension there. And then 
Breathing slowly, slowly. Bring your awareness back to the neck and really, and if you lie on your back, you can actually stay there. Find just a position where you can actually stay in your zone and find again the next meridian, the next pressure point that is supposed to enhance or activate our life on this side. So it comes here, it starts at our index finger, it runs from our index finger into that point where the thumb and the index finger are joining. So maybe that's your point and you find a little bit of tenderness. That's a great point that you can actually um, just massage any time that you feel a little bit exhausted, that you feel a little bit of flu coming up, that you feel a little bit like you need a little bit of a boost. Just not if you're pregnant. This is in that moment then just run your finger up. Maybe you can bend your elbow here and find here this line of your where the lower arm and the upper arm is meeting running into your elbow joint and this is exactly where you point the side and you found it here and just massage that point again and this is a great point that helps you to release a little bit of steam a bit of heat a little bit of dryness and to create balance here something you can do anytime that you're queuing somewhere that you're waiting for something Maybe in front of the TV. It won't harm you. And just imagine now this meridian here is running from your index finger all the way along the joint where your thumb and your index finger bone is meeting, and on the other edge of your wrist into your elbow, from there over the outer upper arm. Running from here over your shoulder into your left shoulder blade. From there towards the sh shoulder bridge into your neck, over your chest, over your cheek, into the opposite nostril. And release. Good. Find straight away your broken wing pose. Again, you can just lean towards your right hand, run your left arm through and just find that sensation here, your forehead is resting on the floor, maybe that's the position where you feel comfortable with, maybe that's not enough, then find your way on your belly and run that left arm through here, try to lean towards that arm, so really bring that body weight on your left arm so that you can feel that sensation in your left shoulder blade. And maybe the right arm wants just to rest here somewhere <laughs> or maybe you want to run that in the right arm also to the opposite and just really find that sensation here between your shoulder blades. I like to rest my forehead on a book or on my yoga block so that I can properly focus on the sensations between my shoulder blades and I find it just really magical how I can feel the sensation, this meridian line running from my index finger all the way over the outer edge, over my outer arm, over my shoulder, into my shoulder blade. And then I like to trace with my inner eye that meridian running over my shoulder bridge into my neck, over my cheek running into my opposite nostril. And we'll stay here. For a bit less than two minutes. Breathe into that arm between your shoulder blades. Close your eyes a second and a third time. And once again, find that sweet spot within yourself where you feel you find sensation. You have a sense of the benefit, but you're not pushing yourself into a gray zone or into a red zone where you have to tense your body. I notice that a lot in myself, but also in my students, that we always tend to push ourselves so far that we tense everything and that we actually don't have the space anymore to feel. And that we lose the sense for what is actually beneficial for us such a sweet spot 
You don't always need to give 150% in order to grow. Because sometimes these 150% are holding us back from actually growing. Because they kind of block the energy in us. Because everything that we do is test. Find that sweet spot. See and feel the energy running through your meridians right now. Breath is also highly related, but has a big impact on our digestive system. So that's also why um, the pair meridians are the lungs and the large intestine. So you might also feel the moment that we open our chest, that we open, that we breathe freely, that suddenly maybe a little bit of a heaviness around your midsection is releasing. So slowly, slowly roll yourself out of that posture and find again your rebound. So you're lying on your belly or maybe you want to turn around on your back. Just feel the sensations around your arms, around the shoulder blades and in your chest. And also allow a softness to take place in your system. slowly slowly make your way up maybe roll over the side for our melting heart pose so there are again different options you can choose running your arms forward and just melting with your heart down towards the floor forehead touches the floor and you just feel how a whole upper body, the full chest and your arms are opening here. So that's again, that works in our lung meridian. If that is too much for you, you are more than welcome to back out there a little bit, just by, you know, so the, the more, the higher your hips are, the more intense it is. So if you go a little bit back, you will feel here a gentle release. So just find here again the position that is the right one for you. You're also more than welcome to use the wall. So you could also use the wall here and just choose the, part of the, the distance here of the feet towards the wall, how far you want to stretch that part in your body. Or maybe you want to even have more and then bring your arms on your blocks, on your books and just really melt here into the pose. Or you want to take a little bit of strain off by just bringing your pillow underneath and just giving yourself here a little bit of a, of a release. So choose the pose that is the right one for you. Again, find the space, find that sweet spot where you feel a nice sensation and opening in your chest without having to tense. So you know you will stay here for two minutes and so you should find a position where you can hold and where you can enjoy. So close your eyes, melt now into your position and find that sensation here, running here from your chest all the way up towards your shoulder into your arm and from there into your thumb. Close your eyes. We haven't activated now or pressed and at the pressure point anymore because we have pressed them on. <laughs> so now we can dive and, and move straight away into our posture here. And allow ourselves to properly sink into that stretch and into that stress. And again, I want to remind you, try to relax your muscles completely. So you might enhance the sensation around your chest, the opening here in your front muscles. You might 
Maybe you want to pull the mane a little bit away from your thigh muscles in order to do to enhance that sensation a little bit. So that's okay. So you can engage here and there some sort of muscle parts in your body in order to enhance the sensation in the area that you like to stress. But more really important is that you not find yourself in a position where you feel resistance in the muscles that you would like to stress. So imagine you want to relax those muscles so that you can dive with our massage that this posture gives you through your muscles into the connective tissue, that smart skin that is running, that kind of embraces our muscles and our bones, that kind of makes sure that everything glides smoothly when we move, and that is our fascia. It has a lot of intelligence within. So try to guide yourself into that area. And then from there into the ligaments to give there a little bit of relief. This is where you want to be. Don't block those passages by engaging your muscles or bringing yourself into a posture where you can't dive into that deepness. You have a few more breaths to go. slowly, slowly from here, make your way out of the posture and you want to dive straight away into the partner posture, which is eagle arms, which we have now have activated the lung breathing again with that melting heart and now we go again into the interstyle by just wrapping our arms and finding again that awareness for that point for our shoulder plates for that that is running here from the shoulder plate all the way up into our neck into our opposite nostril so there are again different options one option is you come to sitting in any way that is, that is part of, uh, comfortable for you bring your arms forward and your right arm underneath your left cross them here bend your arms and then maybe you want to bring the top of the hands together you feel already a gentle sensation running from your shoulder blades all the way forward towards your shoulders into your elbow or maybe if you even want to have more and want to bring the palms here together maybe that's exactly where you want to be maybe you even want to have more then come to lie on your belly again and find that stretch here and rest your forearms on your arms. Or maybe you want to back out a little bit and just wrap and hug yourself and try to reach with your fingertips towards each other behind you and breathe into your shoulder blades. Again, find the position for yourself, close your eyes and I give you again two minutes to feel and stress that area for yourself. Take the chance to breathe deeply between your shoulder plates here. And again, maybe you like to trace that meridian, starting at your fingertip, all the way down to that part where your thumb and your um, index finger bone is joining over the outer edge of your forearm towards the outer edge of your elbow along the upper arm into your shoulder plate that you might feel right now running from there over towards the shoulder bridge along the outer edge of your neck over your cheek into the opposite nostril Here for a few more breaths. 
and also remember which arm is underneath. <laughs> can imagine that over here, the next round we will change sides. And it's also completely fine that you, if you have chosen a certain pose, a certain variation of that pose right now, that you choose a different variation on the other side because we are not always same on both side. Okay. And then slowly, slowly release. Maybe let relax your arms for one moment, close your eyes. Feel. And then for the next inhale, just come on the other side. So this time, in my case, my left arm will be underneath. I cross my arms, thumb reaching up, bending my elbows, bringing the top of the hands together, or even wrap my arms together. You can also change again the sensation just by maybe you want to bring your elbows down. Then you feel the sensation a little bit more on the upper shoulder. Or maybe you want to reach a little bit more full up with your fingertips and away with your little finger. That will naturally just move the sensation a little bit more down along your, along your shoulder plate. Come to lying on your belly if you need more. Or start to give yourself a big hug if that's exactly what you need today. Close your eyes and breathe into your sensation for two minutes. Again, allow yourself to trace your meridian here. Knowing that with that practice you have boosted your immune system, you have sent the police towards that traffic jam that might have developed in your system here along the meridians and it allows you to release steam, to release heat, to create balance and to feel free flowing energy in your lungs and in your large intestine. Allow a little bit more lightness to take place in your system. And take in for yourself in that practice what is exactly the right for you. Maybe some of that stuff that I have said doesn't make sense to you. That's completely fine. Maybe everything has made sense for you. That's also completely fine. There's no right or wrong. Your body tells you what it needs if you allow yourself to listen to it. A few more seconds to go here before we go into our boundary pose. Breathe deep, expand your lungs with your breath. And feel that long life. Relax your face if you can. And also try to bring your mind back to yourself. In these practices, very often our mind, mind wants to jump around, wants to go, wants to run. Acknowledge that. That's what our mind is made for. At the same time, also allow yourself to stay in the moment, to stay in that peace. Give yourself the gift of patience. And then slowly, slowly from here, release that posture and come into your rebound pose, into your Shavasana pose. So that can, that can be just lying on your back. I always like to have actually a pillow on my belly. I just like it. Or maybe you want to lie on your belly or on the side. 
Close your eyes and stay here. And breathe. Close your eyes a second and a third time. And the word is completely in this. Allow your feet just to fall to the side right where they want to fall to. Allow your arms to just be where they are. And fall to any sort of place where they're supposed to be right now. Relax your face, your eyes, your cheeks, and your forehead. And allow yourself a gentle happiness. With every exhale, allow that breath to guide you deeper down towards the mat. And send your breath into those areas that you have stressed, that you have activated, that you have brought to life with the acupressure in your practice. Allow yourself to notice the difference. Stay here for another minute. Another minute just for yourself your own personal growth. Your own personal chance to come back to yourself again. Bring a little bit of yin, a little bit of softness into your routine. Thank you.